so my name is Tina and I, I'm from Armenia originally. That's my origin uh, and I live at the moment in London. So I started doing contemporary dance since the age of 15 and then I moved to Brussels to parts and I lived there, studied there, graduated and then kept on. And nowadays I mostly work in film. And there I find it exciting that different departments work together to, to have the common goal as a film. And that's really exciting for me, is to be the head of movement, like a movement director, and then collaborate with a costume department and collaborate with a special effects department and a scenography department and, and lights department. And the fact that they collaborate all together and we're all working for the common goal, that's what would make me every single time say yes. I'm part of Ferris Anime Terranova Collective and that's something that is ongoing practice. And from that I developed Acts of Action, which is my practice, but I, but when it comes to professional work, I haven't had so many prolonged uh, collaborations. I do do work uh, in the theatrical space, a more site-specific work. But yeah, I w more work in film as a movement director. So there is a leading role in it, but I'm not the top, top leader. I don't have the, all of the responsibility. That's too much. <laughs> I have responsibility, but not all of it. I often had people tell me, oh, when you explain something, it's clear, or when you move me, it feels clear. And so I always felt that teaching can be something that I might feel excited about. And um, I was assisting a lot of people, different, different people with different fields. And that was really interesting to hold space as an assistant. And then at some point, I decided to give it a go. And I had such a good feedback that it's just kept on rolling and it was felt very rewarding. And so now teaching is a big part of, I think, my career and who I am. It's kind of like a cultivating a problem-solving thinking. We kind of create artificially different problems and then we try to find different ways to solve them. And I think people in the end end up having skill of problem-solving. So they manage to have a lot of different keys for, for different things and, and they hold them very softly and uh, start to be excited about how to make them more than holding them. So they start to be excited about the process, about the journey. It's, it's, the difference is in the mindset, in the in experience, in how people approach movement, in how they relate to other people's bodies. It changes a lot in how they hold themselves. And I, I always hope that people in the studio are as, that there's as much variety and diversity as possible because then they can feed each other. Hopefully that's always the case. I was so, so happy to come to Montreal. 